This is the king of rally cars. It's not a Subaru WRX or STI, nor is it a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. This is a Lancia Delta HF Integrale Evoluzione. Lancia has an immense history of innovation. The first load-bearing unit body and first production V4 in the 1922 Lancia Lambda. The first production V6, the world-renowned Lancia Aurelia 1950. Lancia has won the WRC Manufacturers Championship 10 times, more than any other manufacturer to this day. Subaru has only won three. The Lancia Fulvia had won the Italian Rally Championship every year from 1965 to 1973. And it won the IMC Championship, which was the forerunner of the WRC in 1972. After WRC was established in 1973, the Lancia was a three-time winner with the Ferrari-engined Stratos in 74, 75, and 76. And then again in 1983, they launched the mid-engine 037, which blew everybody out of the water, including Audi's all-wheel drive. Lancia then developed the Delta S4 for rallying Group B, a mid-engine beast. But after dangerous accidents and the death of driver Henry Tovenin and co-driver Sergio Cresto, Group B rallying was canceled in 1987. So Group A became the main event for rallying. To continue rallying, Group A cars must be based on current production cars. So Lancia had this production Delta. It was a family hatchback in the VW Golf class size. The Delta was launched in 1979 designed by Giugiaro. Known for designing the DeLorean, the BMW M1, the VW Golf, and numerous other production and show cars. When launched in 1979, this won Car of the Year. It had four-wheel independent suspension, overhead cam, eight-valve engine, and so Lancia takes this in 1987 and enters the Delta HF four-wheel drive, and it won. And then 1988, they increased the suspension travel, widened the car by over three inches, and called it the Integrale, and they continued to win in 88 and 89. In 89, they launched the 16-valve version, and by 1992, having won five manufacturer's title wins in a row with the Delta that had never been done before. So they launched the Evoluzione. It added another three inches in width, increased suspension travel, again, full open mesh grille, two-piston Brembo brakes, and the Evoluzione was known as the Deltona, or the Big Delta, in Italian. A little bit about this car. So, in 1992, they launched this Martini 5 edition to commemorate winning five straight wins in a row, made 400 of these. This is number 124 of the 400, and they spoke a little too soon because in 1992 they won again and had six wins in a row and then they also launched a martini six special edition producing several hundred of those as well up front it's got full complete open mesh grill and intakes and over here we've got the hf badge which is launches badge for a high trim level stands for high fidelity, and they have the little elephant, which is a Eastern sign of good luck, and Lancia used that back in racing in 1953. So this is the two liter Lampretti designed engine, which was designed by the former Ferrari engine designer, designed this dual overhead cam engine for Fiat in the 1960s. Fiat and Lancia have both used variations of this motor to win uh, WRC rallies. This is the winningest motor ever in WRC history, various versions of this motor. We've got the um, body brace here for struts, and for the Evoluzione model, they actually increased uh, suspension travel by raising the um, shock towers up higher even yet. Over time, it has been refined over and over again, balance shafts, 16 valve, turbocharged, generating up 210 horsepower. For the Evoluzione, they widened the track 
even wider, almost another three inches over the Integrale, giving it wider track for performance on the, on the track. Back here, normal hatchback. Um, we've got tool kit. We've got spare tire mounted here. Split rear seat, which was kind of unheard of back in 79 when this was launched. And normal family hatchback for the most part, the basis of it is. Rear spoiler here can be adjusted to varying degrees. Dashboard here, we have full instrumentation, yellow on black gauges, tack with a zero at three o'clock position. We've got front and rear fog lights, uh, turbo boost. We've got rear wiper, washer, and oil pressure, oil temperature, a full set of gauges. Shifter has thumb indentation here for better grip. Martini 5 has Recaro bucket seats with the little HF and the elephant badge on the headrest, pinstriped in red. We've got Martini racing floor mats. For the Martini 5 edition, which they launched and produced 400 of, commemorating five consecutive World Rally Champion wins, all 400 of them came in white with the Martini colors. Martini was the uh, racing sponsor for launch it during those five years, formerly known as Martini and Rossi, the um, wine and uh, spirits company. For uh, the sixth year, Martini was the official um, race sponsor again, and the Martini Six that they produced after six consecutive wins. Uh, same all white color, all white wheels, little different striping of the Martini colors, and the Martini Sixes had a blue interior on those. This vehicle has power windows in the front. The rear windows are hand crank, which was kind of a normal European practice at the time. When we acquired this car, it is probably the lowest mileage example in the world today, we believe. 54 kilometers, which is not 54,000, but only 54 kilometers which translates to 34 miles since new in 1992.